at first it's novelty. A chance to catch up on housework. Garden trimmers burst into life. Unwanted noise becomes reassurance. A signal of normality over the hedge. But the world's grown strange beyond the letterbox. The government prints money, gives it away. It's early days. Cupboards are still half full. Accounts still in the black. A vicarious global crisis over the horizon where great cities thresh like wounded whales and pimp politicians root around in the muck for a quick fix and easy blame. But it's just a matter of time before the horizon catches up with us. An invisible miasma folds itself over the land. Bat spawn superbug, cellular neutron bomb, pirate RNA, throwing grappling hooks over the side of our civilian organisms. The day the earth stood still, the week, then month, when things in general just stopped, went slow-mo, ran out of juice. Streets bereft of clamour, some have to get on with it. Gaunt medics, check out chicks, remote database admins and midday PJs. The patient and the tense queue. Avoid looking at each other in case infection can shimmy down a casual glance. Phony war. Evolution's arms race. Everything's a means to an end for these microscopic time travellers, their nasty ways. The world is suspended in its own bubble, keeping our distance, we somehow become closer.